Hey everyone, I'm back, and today we're going to be talking about Annabelle Creation. Why? Because, well, I haven't done anything in a while, so... And I saw this first, so... Let's talk about it first. Because why not? And also, I feel like I'm uh, a little absent on my channel, so... I decided... Let's just review something. So, Annabelle Creation. Now, when it comes to the Conjuring universe, because that's what's officially a part of, I've seen the first one, and that's it. I've seen a little bit of the second one, but I haven't seen the first Annabelle. So, this is supposedly a prequel to Annabelle... Well, well it's not Annabelle 2, or rather Annabelle 0. That's what I'll call it. Annabelle Zero. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm not going to do that because, well, I actually like the movie. So what is Annabelle Creation about? Aside that it's a prequel to a prequel, which is kind of why I call it Annabelle Zero. It's about uh, the story of uh, how Annabelle all started, like what happened to Annabelle. And the film opens up and you see uh, Annabelle's uh, little father and uh, her mother. And uh, her as a little girl, uh, I think she's like very young. I don't know how old she is, but the point is she's just a little girl at this time. And uh, a little tragedy happens and the family wants their daughter back. They miss her and they wish it to be in a doll. Don't worry, you saw this in the trailer, so it's not a spoiler. So they wish it to be in a doll because that's what supposedly Annabelle is asking. And... Uh, that might have been a mistake. And also we have uh, an orphan age trying to live in this house. Is, uh, with uh, Annabelle's uh, mother and father lived at. They still live there. So that's basically uh, what the movie's about. But you know, some scary things. The performances in this movie are all very good. Uh, especially the two main girls in here. Uh, the Kid from uh, Ouija Origin of Evil. Uh, even though I didn't like that movie, uh, I thought uh, she was just as good in this movie, and this is better than Ouija Origin of Evil. The other girl, uh, I can't remember her name, the main girl who you see that was kind of injured in the trailer, uh, she was also very good, and uh, the director for this movie, David F. Sandberg, Sandberg, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, he's, if you don't know who he is, he, he was the director for the movie Lights Out. That movie I enjoyed. Maybe just as much as this one. And so, when, what he does is basically use uh, the background environment behind the characters for the horror. And it works really well, and it shines. And uh, whenever anything terrifying goes down, it's really, really cool. Oh, and terrifying. It's not just cheap jump scares, like, I treat. There are, sorry. But, uh, I'll get into the scares. I'll get uh, more in-depth with, I'll elaborate the scares later, which in this film, the scares, the best ones, is what I meant to say, they're being built up, and the tension slowly builds, and it builds, and it builds. And it's really great here, whenever he does that, and the jump scares are fine. I know that jump scares are usually annoying, but the only positive I can say is I don't think they're ever fake or false. So that's always a good sign. Now before I get forget, uh, I'm going to get into the negatives. Usually I would save those for the end of the review, but let's just get into them so I don't forget any. Uh, basically my issues with this movie are just from one thing, and that's the script. Kind of like uh, the movie Life, which I liked that movie quite a bit. I did have problems with the script. So, in here, the script is a, a little bit messy. Uh, some of the... I mentioned two... Uh, uh, characters in the movie already. 
Hey, but to everyone else just kind of fades out into the background. They don't really care. Outside, you know, Annabelle as well. Moving on with those characters, uh, at the very least, there's nothing unlikable about them. Like, you never, you don't want to see them get killed old, uh, at some point in the movie, but th as far as I'm concerned, they didn't do anything that made me dislike them. There just wasn't anything that made me care about them. Or at least not enough. There was some things in there, but honestly, they could have been cut out of the movie and you wouldn't lose anything. Well, maybe just a little bit because of, of that little bit of characterization there, but that's it. Also, another issue that I have was uh, they did to this technically in Ouija Origin of Evil and it comes at night where a character is just on top of another character and just puts stuff in their mouth. <laughs> Can you stop doing that in movies? Because it's getting a little annoying. And uh, the marketing for this movie isn't... Uh, it's kind of bad. Like they showed too much is what I meant. But I get why they would do that, but if I don't like bad marketing. I think it would have been better if this the marketing was kind of vague for a movie. Like, you know, A Cure for Wellness, where that movie had vague trailers and it was basically shrouded in mystery. It was a good idea, but here it did not work for me. I think it could have benefited from that. I'm not saying A Cure for Wellness is good, but at least the marketing was. Also, uh, the dad for Annabelle, well, he's kind of unlikable, even though they give him some characterization, but he's not that likable <laughs> in this movie, so. Uh, there's just, uh, I, I don't really get why he's always angry the entire time. Maybe because uh, he's still upset about the loss of his daughter. Annabelle, but for the, but they basically just call her B. I don't know why. The daughter's dead, sure, but that was like twelve years ago. Like they show you a little bit of what happened to Annabelle, and then it cuts to twelve years later. And uh, I'm not sure why he's like treating them like that all the time. It's just very strict. I get some things, but other things I don't. And one other thing, our characters are pretty stupid in this movie, as you would expect. I think uh, just about all characters in horror movies are stupid. It's a matter of whether you care about it or you don't. It depends on the script and the fact that it's kind of messy, it kind of stands out a little bit more. I think that's all my issues with Annabelle creation, but... Overall, I was entertained throughout the whole thing, and there's nothing that made me hate it. It's not a bad movie. It's not a great movie. It's a good movie. So, overall, I do recommend seeing Annabelle Creation, and I'm going to give it a B. Thank you for watching my videos. And now back to The Conjuring. I would do a review for it, but I saw it a few months ago. That's one thing, and another thing is, I don't think I can accurately give a review until I see it again, because it's really hard to hear everything when you're on something like this. So a review might come some time later, but as of right now, I'm just gonna stick with what I saw. I enjoyed it, the best part about it was the characters, but that's for another time, and I saw a little bit of the second one, and I have no interest in seeing Annabelle 2014. Unless I have to, which... Eh. If you liked uh, this video, be sure to leave a like. Tell me what you thought uh, of Annabelle creation down below. Or if, uh, and if you want, you can say uh, how you feel about the... The Conjuring being a universe. And also, uh, last, a couple other things. A uh, link to my Twitter will be uh, down in the description below, so follow me there. And subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation.
And I'll see you when I get my next review up. Which shouldn't take too long. Sorry. Thank you for watching and have a great day.